got something to say to me. Gentlemen, let's try and be civil, not fall back into our Neanderthal ways. That's Vic's door. Don't even think about it. Got some news for you, Vic. You sitting down. Rock and Roll Reviews, and I'm at the Edinburgh Film Festival with uh, actor Brad Moore. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank I, you. I'm sort of good. We had uh, a tiny bit hungover. <laughs> we had a big party last night, okay. so yeah, it was yeah. the premiere of the film. So. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Is this your uh, first time to Film Festival or uh, been here before? First time to Edinburgh uh, Film Festival, yep. um, but I did do many moons ago, about five years ago, I did stand-up show here yep. uh, at the Espionage on the Royal oh, Mall. Right, cool. Was that yeah. a, around the kind of Fringe time? Was that it was, it was that a two-week run at the Fringe, oh, yeah, yeah. Nice so one. that was... Uh, that was scary. Yeah, <laughs> prefer that to the, the stand-up comedy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was, uh, you know, I did the stand-up um, because I didn't go to drama school and I started late. So I did the yeah. stand-up really to um, turbo train me, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So you know, it's a steep learning curve and t for performance. So it was yeah. a strategic uh, move. You know, yeah, and uh, it's terrifying. But yeah, they're very brave stand-ups. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like a hard gig. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, the basic thing with stand-up is if it goes well, yeah. you know, you're on cloud nine. Yeah. There's no, there's no buzz like it. Yeah. Um, you know, it goes badly, you drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you sort of drink to drown your sorrows. You yeah. know? I can remember a gig going badly and um, literally being depressed for about three days <laughs> until I got back in the saddle and had another gig which went reasonably well. Yeah, yeah so it's. Uh, yeah, they 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 monitor stand-ups and the same you you know um, they've monitored stand-ups after the gig yeah. and your body's operating at the same level as if you had a car crash, yeah. you know, of adrenaline and endorphins yeah, yeah. And, and all that. So it's fascinating, really. Wow, well, you don't miss it then, or you do you? Uh, no, I don't. No. I used to get very nervous, yeah. very nervous, and uh, as I said, I did it strategically because I didn't have time to go to drama school and things like yeah. that. So I did it um, because I always. Um, you know, been in, in awe of people that could stand up and make people laugh, yeah. and uh, you know, like a lot of actors, and I've always fancied myself as a wee bit funny, <laughs> you know. So I thought I'd get up and uh, give it a go. Yeah, yeah, excellent. So your uh, your film North East South premiered last night. Yeah, it's a good premiere. Everything go okay? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a few too many, but yeah. Apart from that, it was good. Okay. And yeah. was that your first time seeing the film last night? Or no, I've, I've seen it um, another uh, public screening down in Mayfair. Yeah. Um, you know, with Q and A. So I'd already okay. seen it once before. Okay. Um, but I enjoyed it more last night because um, you're less anxious about your performance and you don't know what you're yeah. gonna, you know, what they keep and what they cut, sure. what's going to end up on screen. Yeah. So you kind of. Uh, you know, you've got one eye on what uh, what's going to end up on screen. And last night I could sit back and enjoy it. So yeah. I did, yeah. No. It's a good romp. Did you Have you seen the film? I haven't seen the film, no. Oh, OK. No, I've seen it, I saw the trailer, and uh, yeah. it looked very good from the trailer, but I haven't seen the film yet, no. It's a good romp. Yeah. yeah. It's really yeah. entertaining. For, for the guys that are watching them um, that haven't seen the film or heard of the film, can you give us a bit of info on, on what it's about? Yeah, sure. Um, it's... Uh, for all intensive purposes, pe people will call it a gangster film, but it isn't a gangster film, it's much more than that, you know. I, the way I um, likened it is that the gangster genre is the Trojan horse, mm -hmm. but inside you've got, you know, drama, humour, black yeah. comedy, there's loads going on. Yeah. Uh, but the basic premise is that um, the north of England is run by a crime family, a crime a gang, and the south of England is run by a crime gang. Mm -hmm. North of England, uh, the head of that gang is Bernard Hill, mm -hmm. um, you know, from Titanic, from Lord of the Rings, okay. and in the south, the head of that gang, who's my boss, is um, uh, Stephen Burkhoff, um, you know, uh, um, Beverly Hills Cop, and uh, um, what's the one with uh, Stallone in it? I just, my memory's gone blank. Um, Rambo, oh, yeah. you know, and it's, a, it's an, an amazing uh, body of work that Stephen yeah. Burkhoff is a tremendous actor, a yeah. tremendous actor to work with. So he runs the South um, gang, and uh, I'm the main enforcer for the South, so I'm like the hitman or the you know the guy that gets sh shit done yeah. uh, for the south and then um, we join as we join the story both sides have operated in independently and kept the territories um, yeah. but they um, start a truce 
Um, and my character really um, doesn't want the truce, doesn't like the Northern Gang, but also um, is very Machiavellian and actually uh, secretly wants to take over both sides, take over the whole country. So he starts whacking people from the North and whacking people from the South to mix it all up yeah. and to mess the truce up. Okay. Um, but then at the core of the story, um, the head enforcer from the South, which is played by Elliot Tissensor from Shameless, um, is in love with my boss's daughter. So you've okay. got this Romeo and Juliet um, core of the story that's a forbidden love mm -hmm. and they're up and down the M1 okay. um, trying to have a relationship and then my character stumbles over that information and decides to use it against both parties oh, okay. so Excellent. yeah that's and you story. play um, part of uh, Gary Little Gary yeah. Little yeah that's right um, can you tell us a bit about the character what, what kind of drew you to, to this particular character yeah, well, um, <clears throat> page nine, I kill a clown. So, <laughs> once a sad yeah. clown gets sadder yeah. when I kill him. So, I, so page nine, I was in, basically. Yeah. Uh, no. I, um, I met the director at a charity event. We okay. were both at the Teenage Cancer Trust mm -hmm. uh, charity, and uh, we uh, had a, a great evening. And I knew he was a director, and I was just starting out as an actor. So, typical actor, I tried to show off and impress him. So I started doing some impersonations, okay. um, impersonating, you know, some of those, trying to impersonate some of the incredible gangsters mm -hmm. British people have played, like Ben Kingsley in Sexy Beast, yeah. uh, Gary Oldman in Leon, and think, things yeah. like that, you know, some of these great unhinged, yeah. crazy gangsters. And then I did some of the lesser uh, reputable gangster uh, impersonations and then six weeks later he sent me the script okay. and um, it actually turns out six months later when we were financed that he was working on something in the States mm -hmm. but uh, Steve, if you, you know, he says that after meeting me that night he then took the story from the States created my character which was what yeah. he thought the script was missing and then anchored it all in, in the UK so I'm semi responsible for some of the story being created from that night which oh, okay. is a nice, it's a nice story in itself and I was so humbled and, and flattered that I'd uh, helped him, you know, put the script together in that yeah. way. Yeah, it was great. Wow. So my character is um, just an absolute psycho. Um, you know, he's really unhinged. Um, if you think uh, like a, a, a Cockney Joker, you know the Joker. You know, he's just crazy, and uh, he's a typical sociopath in that he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't understand the, the consequences of his actions, mm -hmm. you know, hence the clown, you yeah. know. Um, and um, he really, it was just a joy to play because, you know, um, he's, there's never a dull moment with my character. He's always uh, thinking about something. Yeah. He's very Machiavellian. He's, you know, he's playing both sides. He's double bluffing. Mm -hmm. He's divisive. He's a slightly lunatic. So, uh, you know, there's no, for me on, on, on screen, there was never really any dead space where I had to think, you know, what can I do to create something here in the atmosphere? Because he, he you know, um, buying a Mars bar from someone in a shop, you don't know what he's going to do, you know. So it's like they could put a load of juice even in that scene if you had yeah. to. So um, I was very lucky to, to have that sort of uh, platform to play with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, was there any kind of uh, maybe inspiration that you took from any other actors that for for this particular character? Yeah, well, I watched the, the Joker a yeah, little bit, yeah. and obviously um, because when I read the North South, it first read like a graphic novel. Okay. So I watched Sin City, I watched the Joker, I watched Leon with Gary Oldman, I watched um, I watched Ben Kingsley in Sexy Beast, which I think is probably consummate British gangster yeah. performance. That and Long Good Friday, probably the two okay. best. Yeah. British gangster films ever made, get Carter. Mm -hmm. um, and so, um, you know, I wanted it to be authentic, um, sort of inspiration from that. I also um, uh, spent some time with some unsavoury associates uh, okay. that we might, uh, you know, but might not like us calling them gangsters or not, that I won't mention any names, okay. but I spent some time with them because the people that I'd come across over the years had a real trip switch mm -hmm. you know where you could be you're always one pi one pint off a of kicking <laughs> do you know what i mean it's like you have to sort of time your your uh, exit of the evening perfectly because you could be best mates with them all night yeah. and think you, you're having a weight of a time and then one one or two pints too many and yep. you know you're on the floor being beaten up so <laughs> i um i took i actually strangely you know remember some of the, the those guys that have come across you know Grantham in London they're all they're all there yeah. you haven't got to go far you know you got to go to the pub at the end of Bethnal Green yeah. and they're there so yeah so I took some inspiration from that okay yeah I know you've got a, a bit of a background in boxing as well yeah yeah did yeah, you yeah. did you call on any of those skills for this film at all or 
Gary Little is not a boxer, but he's okay. physical. Okay. So when I was creating the physicality mm. of Gary Little, um, I think he, you know, he wears black. He, he wears a soft shoe because he never knows what he's going to have to do. Yeah. Does that make sense? He's that um, boots on the ground enforcer for that side of the gang. Mm. So he's. I mean, we put him all in black on purpose because, you know, he probably does things at night, you know, yeah. dropping money off, this, that and the other, and yeah. probably needs to be, um, you know, in his backstory, I'm sure he needs to be quite stealth in certain situations. Yeah. But physically, he's, you know, he's, he, his shoulders are quite back and he's quite, um, he's quite arrogant in the yeah. way he carries himself because Gary Little uses uh, violence as a weapon to intimidate, you know, that's what you have to do, you can't, if you're running, uh, if you're working for a massive drug dealing family, you know, yeah. you have to be um, intimidating so that people that are too scared to cross a line, yeah. if that makes sense. So I think he, um, I try to focus on his physicality. He's definitely got a spring in his step okay. uh, when he walks, um, you know, like um, a lot of people say Cockneys have that anyway, you know, <laughs> they can't keep still, you yeah. know, so he's got a bit of a spring in his step. Um, but also try to give him an intensity um, that, um, a couple of people have likened, which is just an amazing compliment for me, but a couple of people have said it's a little bit Joe Pesci, oh, yeah. where you don't know he's going to, you know, good yep. fellas, you just don't know yep. what he's going to do. And I think um, that's not necessarily uh, uh, blowing my own performance trumpet, it's in the script, mm -hmm. you know, that he's unpredictable. Yep. Um, and I think um, even though he's got a big physicality, there's also a lot of I very icy moments. Mm -hmm with uh, Gary Little. Excellent, well it certainly sounds like a film that I'd definitely love to check out anyway, I can't wait to yeah, actually Yeah, it's good, it. well, it's up for the Michael Powell Award, so it must be, oh, doing, okay. must be doing something right. Well, that's you pretty know. good, yeah. Yeah, that's um, a very respected award up here. Yeah, so, um, yeah. it premiered last night, is there any other festivals that it's going to be doing? Yeah, film? it's, uh, pre it's uh, also, cause they, because of the North South, yeah. they're having a premiere up here, right. and then they're having a premiere in the South at the East End Festival, oh, right, okay. so they're doing one, on, that's on the 3rd of July, right. um, down at uh, Genesis Cinema, and there's Q&A. Yeah. Uh, with myself, uh, Freema uh, from Doctor Who, Charlotte Hope from Game of Thrones, um, and uh, I believe Stephen Burkhoff because he's a, he's coming to that one and he's yeah. a patron of right. the East End Film Festival, so he'll be he'll be at that one. Q and, a, yeah. and then it's out in cinemas in August. Okay, so right, okay, I was going to ask that when it was actually getting released. Yeah, August. August. Cinematic release uh, via Metrodome in oh, August. Right, cool. yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Um, while we're up here, are you, are you been spending much time at the festival? You, did you go and see anything? Or only came up yesterday. Okay. Um, I really want to see um, Hector. Yeah. With Peter Mullen. Yeah. yeah. He's one of oh, my favourite favourite actors. Yeah. And uh, I think he's my favourite Scottish actor. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, also, I'd quite like to see uh, Under the Milk Wood. Is it with, with Reese Evans? I might have got the title wrong. Okay. It looks really good. Yeah. Okay. Reese Evans, which was directed by Keith Allen, is in North South right. uh, with myself. It's tr tremendous uh, fun to work with yeah. Keith. Really earthy approach to acting, you know, and uh, really, really uh, just great to, mm. to to get on with. Easy to get on with. And his brother. Um, has directed that, so I'd really like to catch that film as well. He directed Twin Towns. Do you remember Twin Towns? All set in Wales. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cameraman's not it. Yeah. Yeah. He does. <laughs> Sadly, he's not on camera. <laughs> Can you just not nod as well? Yeah. So yeah, there you go. Take the nod lead from him. He'll um, chop all this out. <laughs> our, um, our website covers um, uh, everything kind of film related, but we also do a lot of the, the music stuff as well. Are you, uh, do you listen to a lot of music? Are you, yeah, I, lo I mean, I love music. Everyone yeah. loves music. Yeah. They? yeah, yeah, they should do. Yeah. Strangely, I looked at my um, uh, iPhone the other day, and most of my favourite songs are from a film. <laughs> okay. You know, like "Don't Forget About Me" and things like that from Breakfast Club, and yeah. you know, um, yeah, all of the. Um, uh, um, I just uh, mine's gone blank, but uh, Peter Gabriel songs from yeah, films yeah. like Salisbury Hill and okay. things like that. Yeah, a lot of soundtrack yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realise it was yeah. subconscious. You know, the films I bought on iTunes and Pit yeah. are all anchored in a film. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Ah, cool. Um, what what do you have on the horizon? You got any other projects that you're working on just now? Anything yeah. coming up? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, we just uh, finished a film called Golden Years, okay. which is all about pensioners robbing banks. Okay. So it's a comedy caper. Yeah. Um, with Bernard Hill again, um, with Sue Johnson from the Royal Family, yeah. Eunice Stubbs, Mark Williams from Harry Potter and the Far yeah. Show. Yeah. Uh, which might be before your time, but yeah. it was in the Far Show, um, and Phil Davis and Alan Armstrong from New Tricks. I know the program, though. Alan Armstrong was in Braveheart. 
All right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's a cracking actor. Okay. Really, really sterling cast. Yeah. And that's a comedy case because the pension crisis, the banks have effectively messed up all of the pensioners' pensions. Okay. So their golden years mm -hmm. have been messed up, so they steal them back. Oh, okay. By robbing the banks. And yeah. do you get the chance to put a bit of your comedy skills in? Yeah, the, in the I, play, yeah? I play the lead antagonist again, okay. so I'm the only villain of the piece, <laughs> sadly. I must make a note to move away from villain. <laughs> but um, I play the villain, but at least this one's comedic. Yeah. Um, my character's like a, a narcissistic, uh, metrosexual, um, self absorbed, loves himself, ambitious, double crossing. Uh, no, double crossing is wrong. Just overly ambitious yeah. copper. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. And half the force are sycophantic and love him, yeah. and the other ha half the force, let's call them the intelligent half, yeah. know that he's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Um, final question we usually ask: um, any um, any films that you've seen recently that you would recommend? Anything that you've watched recently and thought, yeah, that's yeah. An excellent um, movie. Well, Grand Budapest was amazing. Yeah. I thought um, Lone Survivor. You know, I thought Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, Mark yeah, Wahlberg. yeah. That was good fun. My, I, I watched it with my son, and mm. we were both anxious. Yeah. We could actually feel the ang yeah. the anxiety. You know, we were sitting there and just tensing up and tensing up because it, it's just um, it's so compelling in the pace of the the thing. Yeah, you yeah. know, they get they they're in trouble, then they're in trouble again, and in trouble again, and it doesn't give you any it doesn't give you any time to relax. It's yeah. just bang 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 bang. Yeah. And I thought. Um, I thought Alaska was tremendous yeah. as well, you know, yeah. I really enjoyed that film. Yeah. Excellent, thanks very much Brad, uh, much appreciated, thanks for your time. Pleasure, good luck with, and, uh, the, uh, with uh, well I'll see you at the next film because yeah. you interviewed me before for Montana yeah. and whatnot. so yeah, we'll, we'll do it again. see you for Golden Years. Yeah, yeah let's yeah. do it. Good luck. Thank you, thanks, thanks. guys. Someone's coming after you tonight, you have to leave. I don't want to point out that you started this.